What's up guys, it's Ashley Christ. Welcome back to my channel. After about five years of streaming on Twitch, I found the software that works for me. So in this video, I'm gonna go over that software and at the end, you should know everything that you need to know in order to have the best bots and software for your Twitch stream. I've also created a free checklist for you guys so you can go through and make sure that you have every piece of software that I recommend for you to have a successful Twitch stream. So I'll link that up here in a couple places in this video. This is highly subjective. Different things work for different people at different stages in their streaming career. So I highly encourage you to find the software and the bots that work for you as opposed to listening to what anybody else says, myself included. The first thing we're going to talk about is your broadcasting software. This usually comes down to two different programs, although there are a multitude of them. Those two programs are OBS and XSplit. Now you can really research this as much as you want. There is a ton of information out there about OBS versus XSplit and which one is better for what and blah blah blah. But honestly, when it comes down to it, once again, it's just finding out what works for you. The most popular choice is OBS and that's what most people go with. What it really comes down to between OBS and XSplit is that OBS is open source and free, whereas to get the same features on XSplit, you do have to get the paid broadcaster version. Obviously, there are extraneous details about both of these softwares, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. You really just have to decide OBS or XSplit. My suggestion to you is just download OBS. This is a general overview of what OBS looks like. I'll go over this in more detail in another video. The next thing that you're going to want to look into is your alert system. So there are a ton of different ways to do this, but the two that it really comes down to for me after five years of trying a bunch of different things is Streamlabs and Muxy. Now Streamlabs is the most popular choice, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best in this instance. Once again, you need to try what is going to work out for you. I really enjoy them both. I feel like Muxy's analytics are quite a bit better. They provide a lot more features on the back end, but once again, because Streamlabs is so well known and it's so popular, a lot of broadcasters tend to go in the Streamlabs direction. Both of them are extremely customizable. You can change the image, the sounds, the duration of your alerts as much as you want. Personally, I have bounced between the two with Streamlabs and Muxy, and I don't really notice a huge difference behind them. The thing that I do like about Muxy, obviously, is the analytics, but I'm gonna cover analytics a little bit later in this video. There are multiple ways that you can get analytics for your stream. My recommendation here is Streamlabs. If anything, it's just to try it out because pretty much everybody does at some point. If you're very new, try out Streamlabs. If you've been using Streamlabs, try Muxy. Aside from the back end, you're not going to really notice the difference between the way that the alerts actually occur on your stream, but the back end is going to show you quite a bit of difference between these two platforms, and it's up to you to decide what's going to work for you. My personal preference flips between the two. I actually know the team over at Muxy too, so I might have a little bit of personal bias there, but I feel like they're both amazing, and I love the fact that on Muxy you have those back end analytics that are just so strong. Here's the thing with Muxy analytics, you guys. You can literally see into the past forever. You can look up streams from so long ago and see what your viewer count was, how many people cheered, what your tip amount was, viewer average, and see the growth of your stream over time. So this way you can analyze your stream and see what worked really well for your channel and what didn't. So you can move in a direction of growth instead of one where you are stagnant. All right, so we have our broadcasting software and our alerts, but the next thing that we need is a chat moderator because you do not want to spend your time streaming on moderating your own chat. That's not a good efficient way to run your stream. So the thing that I like to use actually is really old. <laughs> it's called Ankbot, but I feel like the features that it provides is quite a bit better than anything else. There are a couple of bots that are actually similar to this one, but this has just been the one that I've used that I'm comfortable with using and it works really well. Ankbot is extremely powerful, but because of this, there are a lot of integrations that you need to set up during your actual setup process that makes the setup process a little bit more complicated than your typical chatbot. So this is a really great software, but this is also for people that are a little more established. So if you're somebody that's super new, I don't necessarily recommend this one. I would say start with something simple like Nightbot, but Ankbot is great for people that have extra platforms that they're also building a brand on. Ankbot is really good if you have 
something like Spotify or Game Wisp so that you can actually integrate those things into your stream. But it's also really good for people that have a base community already. So if you have a community to the size that you're able to do something like mini games or raffles or just special events for them, this really helps build that community environment and that feel of community within your space. So I definitely recommend it if you have, I would say probably about 10 plus viewers consistently. My simple choice for this if you are just starting out is to use Nightbot because it's gonna give you a bunch of chat moderation features and a couple of more intermediate features that you can get to know and get experience with before you jump into something a little bit more intricate like Ankbot. Another thing that I use a lot is Me6. It's actually a Discord bot, so this isn't necessarily a bot for your stream. It's a bot for your own personal Discord channel. And what this bot does is not only does it moderate your Discord channel, but it helps you by posting your stream whenever you go live, as well as posting analytics afterwards. So it will alert your followers, or at least the people within your Discord channel, that you are live on Twitch with an at everyone or at here uh, tag, whichever one you assign it with, but the analytics that it posts consistently helps you to show a proof of concept to your community that's in your Discord. So if your viewership numbers are constantly going up and somebody happens to see that, they're gonna know that you're on the path of growth and they're gonna feel, uh, feel? They're gonna feel more inclined to invest their time with you on your stream. So obviously analytics are very important. They keep coming up during this entire video. There are a lot of different ways to get your analytics. I highly, highly recommend that you do because they are so motivating. And it's really easy for you to be able to tell what you're doing that's working, what you're doing that's not working. There are a bunch of different avenues to do this. A really great one that I enjoy actually is Stream Elements. Their analytics are awesome. They send you an analytic email and this goes over the percentages that you've improved in your stream between the previous one and the one before that. These emails help you determine really powerful things for your stream like how many unique chatters you had, your total revenue, really cool stats like your peak viewers, your follower amounts, your chatters, and like I said you get to see how that percentage increases or decreases so that you know whether or not the last stream that you did was impactful and you can keep going in that direction or not. There are a couple of things that you can do to make your stream more interactive for your community. One of those things is BitBoss. You throw an HP bar up on the screen and your community can attack it and try to become the next bit boss. Another thing is stream quest where if you complete quests that your community gives you, you can actually earn real money. That's like the oldest meme in the world now. Here's the thing with all the software and these bots you guys, nine times out of ten, awesome software and awesome bots are not going to save you from having a low quality stream or not expressing your personality and being there with your community. There are some people in the world that have really great production value and do grow because of that, but that's honestly not a huge determining factor in your success. It can definitely be a big contributor, but that is not going to be the end all be all of whether or not you're going to be successful on Twitch. What this really is gonna come down to is your ability to be professional and be entertaining at the same time. The behind the scenes stuff, you need to stay professional. The in front of the camera stuff, you just need to entertain people and make them feel like they're a part of something bigger. So really, don't be afraid to express your personality or put yourself out there. It's really scary to be vulnerable online. I'm still actually pretty scared of it. Your vulnerability and your ability to connect with people matters so much more than whether or not you have something fancy pop up on your stream. Remember, you are awesome because you are you and nobody else is you. Nobody else can fill your shoes. You are amazing and you can accomplish anything that you set your mind to regardless of your past or what society wants you to do. Make sure that you download this checklist so that you can get more software recommendations and you can produce the sexiest Twitch stream of all time. All right, guys, tell me your favorite piece of streaming software down below. And if you're new, feel free to hit that subscribe button and join me where I give you guys weekly videos about live streaming because everybody deserves to pursue their dreams regardless of anyone else's expectations. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!